projector and struggle with burnout and exhaustion, then this video is for you. Hi, I am Barbara. I'm guiding women in business, visionaries, top leaders, and change makers to run a business that feels playful, pleasurable, and freaking enjoyable. Business based on your unique design that doesn't follow any other rules than yours. If you are struggling with feeling exhausted as a projector, in this video, I will give you insights as well as practical tips how to prevent overworking so that you can avoid burnout as a projector. Let's dive right in. Before we get into the practical tips and tricks, let's take a look on what does it mean to be a projector and how is burnout connected to your energy type. Through the lens of human design, type, also known as auric type or energy type, refers to your energetic design and how you operate well energetically. It is kind of your mechanical blueprint of your energetic body. When you understand and when you dive deeper into your energetic design, you might get clarity on why you felt resistance in the past and you can learn how to go through life with much more ease, effortlessness, and flow. There are four major types in human design. This video is specifically for projectors and does not apply to any other type. Projectors are guides, teachers, and seers, and they are often called the midwives of the universe. Projectors are also the newest of the types. As a projector, you are here to manage, to guide, and to direct the energy of others. That's your gift. That's your superpower. Due to the fact that you belong to the category of non-energy types, rather be aware of your energy and honor its ebbs and flows every day. If you are new to human design, make sure to grab my ebook, The Ultimate Human Design Newbie Guide, which is the one and the only resource you will ever need for all the human design basics summarized in one place. And there is a little bonus too. Now, let's take a look at what burnout actually is. According to Meyer Clinic, job burnout is a specific type of stress. It's when you are physically, mentally, and emotionally exhausted. Also, you might experience resistance to take any action. Maybe you are lacking motivation, and also you might find yourself experiencing the loss of identity. Generally speaking, by WebMed, as well as marketing confirmed, the most common symptoms of burnout are number one, exhaustion, lacking the energy of being productive, lack of motivation, lack of satisfaction for your achievements, changing in sleep, unexplainable headaches, emotional and mental tiredness, and even resistance to do anything, even the things that used to bring you joy before. When it comes to projectors specifically, the number one main reason for burnout is overworking, which comes from the need and desire of being seen and recognized. However, pushing yourself to the limits as a projector might not only result in you being more bitter and resentful, but also in being drained of energy. The other factors that might cause burnout for you as a projector in your business are number one, Overly initiating when it comes to offering your guidance and services, meaning that called the DMing or fishing in the Facebook groups, and so on. All that might only leave you more bitter, unrecognized, and ultimately even more exhausted from all that energy that you put out there, yet no one is responding because no one asks for it in the first place. The next thing that is very common that might cause burnout for you as a projector in your business is not embracing those ebbs and flows of energy. Understanding that as a non cyclical being, you do not have consistent access to energy is incredibly important. It's not good or bad, it's just the way how it is. And instead of pushing it and fighting it and it pretending to be someone you are not, accepting and embracing it is going to serve you on the long run. Trust me. Another thing I like to mention that might slowly but surely lead to burnout for you as a projector in your business is not building enough spaciousness in your days. Generally speaking, as a projector, being too pressured or too limited with deadlines might only lead to overworking and overloading yourself, which might lead to burnout eventually. These are just a few to mention, and I'd like to invite you to reflect if any of those have presented themselves while running your business. And if so, pay close attention to the next part of the video where I will actually share what you can practically do to prevent burnout in your life and in your business as a projector. 
If you want this information, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you get notified when my videos about other energy types get released so that you can learn how to run a business that feels playful, pleasurable, and enjoyable. Before we get to the practical tips, you might think, okay, Barbara, let's be honest here. Is it even possible to run and succeed in business as a projector in the midst of all the generators and manifesting generators who have tons of energy naturally? My answer is absolutely. Let me name some of the projectors who are not only killing it and are super successful with their businesses, but are also running their business full of joy, full of pleasure and playfulness. Jay Shetty, Sahara Rose, Chris Jenner, Ariana Huffington, just to name a few. I want you to know that there is no such a thing as an advantage in being a projector or any other type. Human design is here to empower you, never to limit you. We are all destined to be successful just in our own unique way. Okay, it's time to get practical. Now, when you know some of the possible reasons why you might be experiencing burnout as a projector, let's take a look on the steps you can take in order to prevent this from happening. Step one, intentionally schedule breaks within your day. This will create more spaciousness in your day as well as making sure that you are fully recovered between the tasks. Take as many breaks as you need. There's not just one piece of advice for all projectors. We are all different. Also, don't fall into the trap that you are lazy when you are prioritizing breaks and rest. You are not. You are simply honoring your energy capacity, limits, and needs. That's what honoring your energy truly means. Owning that and knowing that you are fully recovered, you can create magic again. Step two, power naps. This happened to prove itself to work for projectors really well. Again, generally speaking. The naps don't need to take long and even being horizontal helps. If you ask me, this one is my personal favorite. Next step, getting to bed before you are tired. Knowing that your energy is inconsistent for you as a projector, having a healthy sleeping hygiene is essential. What I advise for projectors is to get to bed before you are tired. By resting before you feel exhausted, you allow your energetic body to recalibrate and to prepare itself for restful and restorative sleep. It is recommended by many humanitarian specialists that sleeping alone is extremely helpful for energetic management of projector. This is a topic for another video, but I just wanted to leave you with this thought in case you would like to experiment. If you have a partner and you don't want to give up falling asleep and waking up with them, having two separate beds can be a fantastic compromise. Now you've got the steps and knowledge how to prevent you from experiencing burnout as a projector in business ever again. In case you want to master your projector nature in business and leverage your genius, make sure to check out my mastermind for projectors in business called Awaken in Biz, where you learn how to run and how to grow business your unique projector way. The link is in the description. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with other projectors that might benefit from it. I'll see you in the next video where we dive deep into other energy types. Thank you for watching.